Welcome to Precipice, where we learn how to live life on the edge without falling off the cliff. This is episode 4 and it's titled Your Attitude, Your Food and Your Productivity. My name is Aditi Ijoshe and I am your host. I've been your host in all the um, episodes. And today I want to introduce myself fully. I'm a business and wellness advisor, consultant and coach amongst the many hats that I wear. To survive in today's world, one needs to have several careers running simultaneously. So if one particular sector goes down or has a problem, one does not suffer irreversible financial consequences. Last time, we discussed your attitude, your food, and your mental health. As we said, many people do not associate their attitude with the foods they eat. Many fail to realize that the deficiency of certain nutrients affect our mind's ability to handle challenges and stress. These nutrients help our bodies produce and or use biochemicals that help to keep us calm so we're able to keep our cool. When deficient, our bodies produce biochemicals that make us anxious and aggressive in response to stress and challenges such as criticism. We reviewed and learned how to interpret the results of the exercise we had been given in episode two. We were asked to record our food intake, including snacks, for about five days and also record how we felt, both alone and while interacting with others, between each meal or snack, to see how our food affects us. If you missed any of the earlier episodes, I will advise that you stop now, go back and listen to those episodes. This way, each episode is a build up on the previous ones and we are able to make the best use of what we hear. As we can see, our attitude is greatly affected by the state of our minds, which is controlled by what we perceive and our interpretation of it more than the reality of what we see. Now, We've, we've done, we are done with them um, the last time. Now, let's go to today's topic. We now know how our attitudes and mental health is affected by our food. How about our productivity on the job? Okay, the whole world is on a precipice and individuals are at the precipice on the job. Many have resigned from their jobs to take on other jobs with better pay or with more flexibility or that they believe they will enjoy more, or that we help to keep their minds together in these trying times. All these are perception, that is how we feel. It is clear then that feelings seem to trump facts and reality. One can say that facts change and perceptions change, and perceptions too change, depending on the individual's ability to cope with or handle the facts presented to to them as the representation of the state of affairs um, or the state of affairs of their work environment, okay? Having learned about the effect of food on attitudes, it is clear that our diet will also affect our ability to physically cope with the pressures on the job as well as our ability to mentally cope with the pressures of work. In today's world, most of us work on the computer for the better part of our working day. And because of the artificial stress and biochemical toxicity generated around us from our computer use and which our bodies are not coded with, we are much more affected by health issues arising from computer use than we realize. This means many ailments we assume arise from other issues actually arise from the inability of our bodies to physically and mentally cope. To help our bodies, to, to help our bodies, we have to consciously eat, to continuously replace nutrients depleted from our bodies and environment while walking, 
whether we're on site or work from home. The stress of all these is what has made many leave their jobs as many workplaces and employers underestimate the effect of computer use on health. In fact, if we are to be successful in our bid to increase our productivity on the job, we need to realize that we need to not just eat healthily, we have to eat to specifically provide the nutrients needed by, our body, by the body for the computer use working experience. I'm going to give us another assignment. And as usual, I will make it easy for podcast members by providing members only material for this assignment. This time, I want us to record what we eat while at work, including what we drink, starting with the first cup of tea or coffee or water or smoothie when we sit at our desk. I want us to do this for six days. I want us to record our attitudes throughout the working day and discover the foods that trigger the various attitudes. What you need to record include the following five effects. Number one, whether we are distracted or concentrate better after we eat or drink something and before we put the next thing in our mouths. Number two, whether we feel more like walking, you know, that is are energized, or whether we feel less like walking. Number three, whether we feel overwhelmed or things feel easier. Number four, whether we are more alert or less alert. Number five, whether we feel more able to handle complex tasks or calculations or less able to. Number six and so on are other attitudes that you can come up with. If you are a podcast member, I have developed a worksheet for you with 13 effects and attitudes. The worksheet will help in the task of easily identifying your food triggers. It is titled Episode 4, Six Days Productivity Worksheet. This document is available on the sidebar at precipicedecisiontraining.com. Scroll down to the members only section of the sidebar to access it. Membership of this podcast costs only $4 per month, which is a little over 10 cents a day. If you get quarterly membership at $10 per quarter, that is about 10 cents per day. It actually costs less than a cup of coffee in many places where we go to buy coffee. It is so easy to be a member. It also helps to keep this podcast on the air. You can also donate as little as $5 to help us. If you have found this podcast resourceful or useful, consider assisting us. Invite all you know to listen and encourage them to become members or to donate. To learn more about the best foods for your lifestyle, go to foodsthathealdaily.com or wiredlifesolutions.com. These are associated um, websites and you can find the links on the sidebar. They are both membership websites and cost $10 per month to be a member on any of these two websites. And you only need to be a member of one. You get the other website complimentary and you also get membership of this podcast complimentary. Consequently, there are many ways to get access to members only content. You can be just a member of the podcast which gives you access to podcast member content and allows you to post and view comments you can even ask for responses on your comments to be private and you will send that to the um, email address on file or you can be a member of any of the associated websites and get complimentary membership of this podcast which will give you access to members only content as well as the comments Our next episode will help us analyze the result of our exercise, which I encourage us all to carry out. It is well worth it. It will help you increase your productivity as you identify triggers that affect your work productivity. We will stop at this point. Do come back as often as you need to and listen to this episode and the other episodes available. So see you next time and until then. Here is to your success as you navigate your way through life 
at the precipice. Okay. Bye for now, my friends.